Yeah, so I played a separate day than everyone else because, one, I want all the attention and chat. When I post my hands, they all have to listen now. But no, seriously, I just think day one sees the better flight to play. There's just more runners, so that usually just amounts for more weaker players, in my opinion. He's an idiot. He's literally the only people that are going to play Wednesday are Euros. You think any recreational players are going to miss the 4th of July? I had three guys at my table who are flying back to the East Coast to spend the 4th with their family and then flying back on the 5th to play day two. Yeah, I missed out on the 4th of July party, but you know, sacrifices have to be made. This is America. <laughs> I feel really good, I feel patient. So like, I'm just chill. I'm playing some salsa on my headphones. So I'm just relaxed. A guy called my bluff and then took a business card. It was great. I had 79,600 to start the day. I built it up to 150, went all the way back down to 85. Now I have 290,000. It's day two. I was the chip leader on the bubble three years ago and I min cashed. My deepest run was when I made day two with 6,000 chips. I finished 42nd. All that matters is what your skill is relative to the field and the decisions that you make every time you're solving the problem. Is Berkey in a booster chair? I've never known him to be quite that tall. He might. He looks like he's uh, towering above yeah, everybody, forward. both in chips and just in literal height. I don't like the seats here. I don't care for them. I like to sit very postured, and to do that on like a normal sitting chair means I have to like wedge my ass against the crack. No, I just got it for the summer. Is that what you're trying to drag out of me? Yeah. You're trying to get me to say that I bought a goddamn booster seat for the summer? I am ready. I don't know, you want to ask me how my day went? You say you survived or maintained? Survived. Uh, I was down to like 70, which isn't even that few chips, but it, it really felt like it at the time. Today was a frustrating day of poker. I peaked at almost 400,000. I bagged just a little less than I started the day with. I peaked at about 340,000, and I ended with 202. I had some unfortunate shit happened in the last level. The last time of the night, I opened ace five of clubs and there's a caller and someone piles for like 15 big blinds. I just can't fold on the last hand of the night. I think people are too eager to double up or go home. Get kings. I have 300 more chips than Jack. He has 133.2, I have 133.5. I've told him that like three times. And... Every single time I bluff caught today, I was wrong. Did not correctly pick off a single bluff. You wanna know why, Justin? Because they don't bluff. None of them bluff, ever. Probably overfolding right now is kind of good on rivers, but like it's a tricky spot because there's a lot of theories, like minimum defense frequency and all this other jargon. Got all my bluffs through. Unfortunately, I get to bluff at about a quarter of the frequency that I'm forced to bluff catch. So now you know where that extra 280K went. May I help you? Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> oh, that's my line. The best way I can describe the main event as a whole 
is you found your dream girl. Carrying through the romance, experiencing new things with her. And then she breaks up with you. And your whole world comes crashing down. I've muted the group chat of everyone who's still in. I've deleted Twitter off my phone. Oh God, I should have got a bowl. You want to be a strong, sophisticated man and just say good for her. I wish her well. And I'll show her. I'll just win the little one. You know what? The little one's a six. She doesn't care about the little one. She doesn't give a shit about the little one. She's a goddamn 10. And the little one's a six at best. I'm just an eternal optimist. I honestly think that I'll win the main event at some point in my lifetime. The world just tests me day in and day out as to whether or not I have the ability to make ridiculous folds. And we know the answer, I don't. I just don't. I don't fold full houses. I don't fold top two. And when those hands don't win, I'm fucking out. The guy who's second in chips today is like a fucking tobacco farmer in Montana or some shit. Plays poker once a year. There's no justice in this fucking game. I hope the tournament ends right now. I hope they don't crown a main event champion. Something happens, ESPN can't televise it, they pause the tournament for a year. And let us all buy back in. I want Christian to win. Yeah, I have a piece of him, that'd be okay. to 4,000, which will be our fourth level of the day. Uh, level 14 total. I feel pretty drained right now, but I think that's mainly just because I've been getting dealt a lot of suited hands. So, you know, I've been in there. Yeah, I've been playing a good majority of the hands dealt to me. Jim won't talk to us on breaks. He's at the table of death. So those headphones haven't come off his head. He won't talk to anybody because he's got to stay in the zone. And apparently, I'll fuck his zen up if we talk on break. I currently have 432,000, which is well above average. I'm not sure what average is, but it's probably like double average or so. So, I mean, I'm in a really good position. Not how I pass the time. I'm the mastermind with a faster rhyme. It's work. Not how I pass the time. I'm music strong enough to stop a bomb I'm putting pressure on you kids like I'm a soccer mom Who you think I dig it that it was to stop Saddam? Who you think I dig it that it was to drop the bomb? We should be hitting the money, hopefully, in level 15 and 16, somewhere in that area. They said they're gonna play to it until we get there tonight, so we might be here for a couple extra hours. All right, players of the main event. We are on a 75 minute dinner break. After dinner break hits, that's when the tension starts. Everybody can feel it. They feel the bubble in the air. People will be looking at the clock. They'll just be like, oh, 20 people dropped. And then it's gonna slow. And when it starts to slow, I wanna have enough chips to start stepping on throats. The bigger stacks are trying to push the short stacks around. So I hope I'm one of the big stacks so I can take advantage of the bubble and there'll be a short stack and have to just hold on for dear life.
We are on an unscheduled break on day three of the main event. So they're trying to get an exact count of how many players are left because we're on the money bubble. You know, it's in two different rooms. There's tables breaking all the time. It's tough to get 100% accurate when that's the case. All right, well, I am also on an unscheduled break. We busted something between 10 and 20 from the money. Uh, but I feel good, man. Like, I thought I played really well these last three days. I'm really happy with the result. I feel like I learned a lot about, like, myself. Because it's like, I didn't make any mistakes, but I got beat up pretty hard. And whatever. It's okay. We have entered the hand-for-hand -hand portion of this tournament. We will be one out of the money. A five to stay alive, if not. And whoever was an ace, ace queen is good. That means we have an elimination. We've got it all in the call. That means that 1,182 of the rest of you are all in the money. This is your first cash in nine tries. And Jack, this is your first in one try? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. It is 12.30 on Sunday, June or July something. Just busted the main event. Came in with 92,000 at 361, finished with zero. Yeah, it's over. Basically, my stack played itself, and I got it in in a spot that I'm always getting it in, and I lost. You know, I came in knowing that there was a really good chance that this exact outcome would happen. I almost feel bad that I'm not more upset. Uh, I think just since it's my first time playing and I cashed, it feels like an accomplishment, although it definitely would have been amazing to make a deeper run. You just have to... Just gotta go to the yellow section or stand outside the ropes. Okay, I, I just busted the main event. Yeah, you still gotta sit out here. They're getting set up here to play. Jack busted in the money, but the morning of day four, and um, you know, I'm just trying to win it. Last man standing. I was all in for the first time in the tournament. I was way ahead, I had sevens versus fives. That 18% feels like a, a lot on day four of the main. Don't fuck me, don't fuck me, don't fuck me. Board runs out clean. And now we got 4.30. Tables are breaking and not being filled with other players from the other room. Kind of feels like it's obtainable, sort of. The winner is in that room. The winner is in that room, wow. Yeah, that's, oh. the, winner, the winner's in that room. And I'm still in that room. Well, fuck me. Yeah. What happened? I lost like a 1.1 million chip pot with top pair versus an over pair. He had just sat down at the table, and so I knew nothing about him. Maybe I could have picked a better spot because of that reason specifically, but he three bet me like the fifth hand. I called with queen jack suited, came jack 10 six. He bet and I called, turn was a six. He bet again and I shoved and he, uh, he tanked and called with kings. So if he's tanking and calling with kings, I don't like my shove. I came back to 5,000, 10,000 with 107K. You know, I was looking for a spot to get it all in and uh, someone raised, someone called, someone called. I got five, three of diamonds in the big blind and I called and it came nine, five, four rainbow with one diamond. 
He goes, check, and I shoved, hoping they would fold. Like, I shoved 75 into 100. Lady flopped top set and turned quads. Yeah. Yeah. plus. Une porte cocher ville aux abois. Des tirs fusent. Dans Paris, de vitres volent en éclats. 